in this video, I'm going to be showing you the last thing a doctor is shaking to confirm that somebody has finally died. I want you to pay very good attention to these illustrations I want to show you. It is very important you also share this video because I've realized as a medical doctor that most people, when there is a road traffic accident, all right, does not have the chance to actually get to see a doctor before they are being taken to the mortuary, just like a lot of cases that have happened. But that is why I'm doing this video. Every doctor knows this, but we need to move this campaign outside the doctors to the layman's in the street. If you can actually understand this thing very well, all right, you may, you may use it to save a lot of persons. When somebody is not breathing, when, when you try to check somebody's pulse and there is no pulse there, and when somebody's hands and legs are cold, it does not mean that that person is gone. It doesn't mean that that person is gone. Let's stop taking people to the mortuary when, we have not, when those people have not been satisfied by the medical doctors that they, are, that they are gone. Some people might still be alive, yet there is no pulse, there is no breathing, and the hands and legs are cold. All right. Now look carefully as I want to illustrate this. All right. So look at this. Just look carefully. Now let me show you again. Now, when just look, are you seeing? Are you seeing this big? Are you seeing that hole in the eyes? Okay. Now, when light gets into that hole, that hole tends to constrict. They tend to become small. All right. That is what we call pupillary reflections. All right. That means that this person's pupil is reactive. And that is what we see in a living human being. Let me show you. Are you seeing how the pupils becomes? Look at, watch, watch. Do you see how the pupil becomes small? When light is not there, do you see how big it is? But when light starts to come, it becomes small. When light is not there, do you see how big it is? And when light comes in, it becomes small. Do you see how big it is? Now that light is about coming, as light comes, it becomes so small. All right. Do you see how big it is? But at light comes, it becomes so small. Let me show you again. Are you seeing? As the flashlight, it becomes small. Just like you and I, whenever, whenever you're in a dark room and then a, a, a light, a car light comes in, what happens? You try to squeeze your eyes so that so much light will not enter into your eyes. This is what we call pupillary reflection. All right. And this is what is expected in every human being. But for somebody that is gone, when that flash, when that highlight or when that beam of light tend to enter the person's eyes, the person does not react to it. And once this happens, this is what the doctors are saying to say this person is gone. And this is the last thing that can happen. And we say the person is gone. Now, why am I doing this video? What is my aim? My aim is not to actually um, seek for followers or something like that. Even me that is talking to you, God forbid I may have a road traffic accident tomorrow. And the people there will now say it because I'm not breathing, because I'm not my heart, they, they cannot feel my pulse, because they cannot feel my heartbeat, because my hands and my, my legs are cold. They felt I'm dead. They will not take me to the mortuary. And then by the time they take me to the mortuary, and then the mortuary attendants start to infuse formalin inside the person, the person will kukuma die. This is why we all need to share this video. I hope this video can help to save a lot of persons. So when you are when you see when you are in a road traffic accident scene and you feel that this person is, is gone, please, please tell them, just give me some time. Bring out your touch lights. All right. Use your hand and make a little, a little, use your hand and make a little dark, a little shadow on that person's eyes and tend to flash your light. All right. The best thing I would have suggested is please let this person go to the hospital and let the doctor confirm this person dead. But whereby hospital is very far and whereby doctors cannot be reached, please take out your touch light and make a little shadow on this person's eyes and tend to gently, just like what I'm doing now, tend to gently push your light. And if this person's eyes is constricting, Please don't take this person to the mortuary. Even if you cannot see a doctor, let this person lie on the floor. As much as this person is not breathing, give this person maybe five or ten minutes. This person can, can return back to life. 
All right. Now, for those that are saying, Doctor, but the hands and legs are cold. There's a way the body works. Whenever somebody has got accident that has to do with excessive bleeding, all right, the brain will actually instruct the heart to short blood supply to the hands and to the legs. There will be no blood supply to the hands. There will be no blood supply to the legs. All right. So, so that the the little blood that is that is remaining can only go to the heart, to the brain because the brain is the last thing that will die. If the brain is dead, then that person is dead. So, once there's an accident and that person has bled so much, the brain will reduce, will stop blood supply to the hands and to the legs. And that is why anytime you see such a person, if you touch the leg, the person's leg is cold. If you touch the person's hand, the person's hand is cold. This is because the brain has instructed the heart not to send blood again to the legs and to the hands because this the legs and the hands can stay for 30 minutes one hour two hours without blood supply and they will not be dead but the brain cannot stay five minutes cannot even stay one minute without blood supply the brain will go so once somebody has got accident or once there is an emergency that has to do with um shock all right the brain will instruct the heart to stop pumping to the rest of the body and concentrate on supplying to the brain so that the brain cannot die. And as much as the brain is not dead, this person is not dead. Even though you have checked the pulse, the pulse is not dead. The pulse is not dead because the, there is no longer blood supply to the hands. That is why the pulse is no longer there. If you check the leg, the legs are cold because the blood is no longer going to the legs. And this is why this person's leg is cold. It doesn't mean that this person is dead. This is one last preservation that the heart is trying to do to make sure that this person is not dead. Please, I use this uh, Mr. John Paul's, Junior John Pope's, to actually feel how bad. 